Metal gonna kind of fast forward a little bit. We're probably gonna get kicked out the house soon. But at least we're laying in groundwork because when uh, Jay does go to work, they can kind of like uh, bond, I suppose, on the job. Oh, snap! He lives here now? That's that guy we gave a crazy makeover. Back home, he's here. Why is he here? Why is she here? That's weird. Why do these people follow us ho from home? Wait, honey, where are you going? We're coming after you. Oh, did she go to pee or something like that? Yeah, she had to go pee. We're going to follow you, though. Why are you crying? Why are you sad? Stop your whining. Stop your fussing. I wonder if we're friendly enough with her now that we can try and get it in. I don't know. I don't really have high hopes that we're going to get it done today. Maybe we could ask her to spend the night. Like, can we stay here tonight? And then, like, when we try and sleep here, it won't be so inappropriate. Can I stay over? Yes. Let's ask her that right away, actually. Can we stay over? Oh, we're doing romantic things. Oh, I can't stay. No, I cannot, apparently. No, I can't. Don't know you well enough to let you stay over. And I bet we just lost process because we got friend zoned. Yup. Like, her daughter is probably just like, who is this lady, mom? She's acting so weird. Like, doesn't she see you're, like, all pregnant and stuff? Is, is she, like, hitting on you, mom? Are you, like, bi, mom? What is happening? I don't know anything about her. I don't know if she has a good sense of humor or anything. I figure if she did have a good sense of humor, we would know by now, right? Oh, now you coming in here? Look, there's another bathroom. Go to it. Ridiculous that you got all these bedrooms and only, like, three bathrooms or two bathrooms or something. And don't even have a bathroom on the first floor. We're not leaving this bathroom. Shut up, little girl. Goodbye. At least I gave her the never dull, so they don't even mind that she's telling the same joke over and over again. Chick, we're not leaving. Goodbye. Pee somewhere else. Pee on yourself. I don't even care. Because we're actually friends now. We're actually friends. We are doing this. It was almost 3 a.m. This isn't good. Wait, maybe we should just ask her about the raise and stuff since we're already friends then. Maybe we don't have to sleep with her. Let's discuss uh, work. The flirting is working, though. Dang. I wish we... I wonder if we could ask her to spend the night now. We're friends, right? Come on, let's ask her if we can spend the night. Oh, forget talking about work. Can I spend the night? This is important. Still? Really? Okay, um... Okay, get it. I get it. Uh... We kind of screwed up, didn't we? I guess we have to talk about work again just to bring up the rays and stuff. No, we got kicked out. We got kicked out. Damn. Oh, this isn't over. I am gonna text you like a mad person. Because I have no shame in my game. Let me see... When does she go to work? She goes to work in like five hours? Okay, after this, she's right here, so we just got to get her back home. She can eat at work, correct? I believe that's right. So, we just need to like get her home after this. So, she's almost done texting. She finished up texting. There we go. Let's get her back to the house now. She'll probably run. Yeah, she's running there. We made so much progress with her, but we didn't get like... The confirmation that we're going to get a promotion, we're going to get a raise, and I wish we had did that. It's okay, though. Working four hours, our mood is going to be so shit. Um, we do not have enough points to, like, give her anything that will help with that either. The only thing she can do is go to the bathroom, take a shower, and go to bed. That's it. So, uh, I'm just going to fast forward real quick. Here we go. She won't get to sleep long, but at least she'll get some sleep. Maybe. We'll see. There you go. So, they're probably gonna wake her up. Wait, 4 p.m.? Nah. We, we, oh, shoot. We gotta go to work an hour. Wait, she is going to work, correct? Not work for an hour. Okay. Wait, I, I want to go to work. Come back in one day? So, technically, we still have one day to make things okay with this lady. Is she calling? Because if she's the one calling, we might want to take this phone call. She's the only... Yeah, it is her. Okay. Wake up, Jay. Like, this is important. Wake up and talk to her. I hate when it rains. Ugh. Left one rainy, well, snowy town for another. Come on. Get up and talk to her. 
Jay, stop going through the motions of waking up and talk to this lady. We're all about it. Let's talk, talk, talk. In fact, I want to go see her. We're gonna, we're gonna go see her. In fact, she need to come see us. Yeah, I know we hungry. Do we got like okay? We got some cheese in the fridge. We're gonna eat some cheese. Like legit, just eat some cheese. Well, you can't just eat cheese. I just eat cheese all the time. There we go. Just eat a half a head of lettuce. And then we'll eat another half a head of lettuce, and then we should be good. Ah. We need to go to the grocery store and legit, like, buy snacks to just carry on us. Like, apples and grapes and stuff. No, you can't go back to bed. I'm so sorry. You can't go back to bed. Turn on your crappy TV at this lodging place and wait for this lady to come over. She's right there. I see her coming. So the minute she get here, we're going to discuss work. We're going to, I don't see anything about asking for the raise and stuff, so we're probably going to have to wait till we discuss work to talk about that. In fact, she's walking too slow. We're going to, like, meet her in the middle. Wait, what? No. Wait, Jade. Jade, wait. Wait, stop, Jade. Stop. Because, Jade, you don't got time. If she gets there before you get back there, she may leave. Run. She's waddling so slow that we're going to actually beat her. There we go. Now, just stand outside, because she'll be here soon. There she is. Now, let's immediately discuss work, because that's all I care about. I mean, we can use her as a shoulder to cry on, too, but we'll do that later. First, let's talk about words. Let's talk about promotions. Let's talk about raises. She wants to kiss her. I mean, it did help to get the raise and the promotion. Then, yeah, we'll kiss her. I just want to do it before she her water breaks, you know, and she can put it on the books that, you know, I get this raise. She's a green thumb. Who cares? Ask for promotion. Ask for raise. Uh, be my shoulder to cry on in case you tell me I can't have that raise. And I'll rub your tummy a little bit. She say no for real? I think she said no for real. I think she said like a no for everything. She's cheap. She's frugal. Dang it. And she do not want us to touch that belly. Dang it. And now she's leaving. And I couldn't interview her, which means I am correct. I'm going to have to wait till I get ahead in the job. It's not fair. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. Well, I guess I'm going to let Jade sleep and we'll go out tonight. We'll try and find a vampire to befriend. So that when we are able to interview the vampire, it'll just be already a snap finger done thing. So yeah, we're going to let her take a nap and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we are back, and I let Jade sleep for a while, but I think it's time to wake her up. Number one, I came here and somebody making weird noises, and I don't think that's a TV. Yeah, someone is making noises. Who, who is this? A paparazzi bitch. Oh, that's right, because we famous and whatnot. Okay. Anyways, though, um, as I said, we're going to need to work on our job to get the interview with a vampire but in the meantime we need to make friends with a vampire so try to remember exactly where was it that the vampires live i think they live on this side of town no the house is empty wait a minute where do the vampires live now oh maybe it's not empty maybe just because i don't know them okay no they're here okay so i need to go and befriend some vampires jade is still sad because like her booze brother died, and technically he didn't die. We killed him. But we don't have time to talk about, you know, like, the the, uh, the details of how that situation occurred, you know. Uh, she just needs to get over it. She'll be over in 14 hours. She'll take a quick cat nap tonight, and tomorrow it'll be like it never happened, which is fantastic. So let's go and befriend a vampire. Hopefully it won't be that hard, um... If I have to, come on, let's, uh, they got nice, let me tell you something, the dead be having nice houses. It's not fair how dead people be having nice houses. They not, they not even living no more. Why they got nice houses? Jade alive. She got her whole life in front of her. They got their afterlife ahead of them. That's nothing to be, like, excited about. So, this is the house where, uh, fake Edward Cullen lives and i call the girl who lives here fake rosalie from the twilight saga like i said i'm all about twilight 
Someone actually made a comment to me today about I should do a Twilight um, Sims 3 Let's Play. And I know they just introduced vampires into The Sims 4. Let me say something about The Sims 4 real quick. I, I promise um, I'll, I'll try and be as quick as possible. I am not thrilled with vampires being in The Sims 4. Like, literally the tweet that confirmed for most of us that they were getting vampires in The Sims 4 was like, Finally! The first word shouldn't be finally. You know what I mean? That lets you know that vampires are something that should have been there already. In The Sims 2, we got, I believe, um, Nightlife. And we got vampires in that one. That was like the third expansion pack. Because I think the second... No, that was the second expansion pack. Because we got our core game. Then we got University. Or what was it? Like university life or like college life. Whatever it was. You guys know what I'm talking about. And that's when we got downtown. And downtown came with vampires as the new world. Which was an extension to whatever world you were playing in. And the vampires were so cool in that. They can hypnotize you. They're going to suck your blood. But they're not going to kill you. They'll just turn you if they want to. In The Sims 3. Now in The Sims 3 I can't remember if late night was like the third or the fourth like expansion pack but I know it was like early on because I know we got um world adventures first and then I'm not sure if it was ambitions that came next I'm not sure so don't quote me on it but I know we still got vampires pretty early in the game and if you didn't want the late night expansion pack if you got supernatural you would get vampires anyway because they would come with it and if you're one of the people who was like, oh, werewolves and fairies and um, witches are totally unnecessary, I just want vampires, then you didn't have to get Supernatural. Sin 4 has been out how many years now? Like two plus years, and we're just not getting vampires. I don't think we have zombies in The Sims 4, correct me if I'm wrong. Other than mods, I haven't seen zombies. And then we have finally have uh, Ghosts and Aliens, which wasn't like an original thing. I think Ghosts came with it originally, but we had to wait for Aliens to like the second expansion pack, I believe. Or was that? I don't know. <laughs> because as you know, I don't keep up with The Sims 4. I played it a few times. I'm not impressed. Um, the only reason I'm kind of thinking about getting The Sims 4 with vampires is because you can woohoo in the coffin now, and that intrigues me, because that sounds hot. Don't judge me. But let's get into it, though. I had to do my little rant, because I like to give my two cents. If I have it to spare, I will give it. If you are hungry, I will feed. If you are thirsty, I will serve you tea. So, I don't really want to be friends with her, because I don't want to do her. Plus, she's a teenager. She's rich, good to know. So your whole fam is rich. So, you know, if I got, see, my mind is working, and when that happens, it's a dangerous thing. Um, if I wanted to, could I move her into my, like, if, let's, let's say hypothetically, hypothetically now. Um, if we fell in love, we'd be like, listen, I, I can't live without you. So, like, number one, you need to join my household and move to my town with me and I know this sounds crazy but bring your whole family bring your whole family along with you and um when we get back home I'm gonna get rid of my man you can bite him drain him of his blood whatever you like and then um uh, we're gonna let your sister and your father sit out in the sun at like 350 degrees for like 10 to 15 minutes till they cook Hypothetically, this is all hypothetical now. I'm not saying this is my plan. I'm just saying, if it went that way, I wouldn't be upset. Because he got nice cars. He got, like, I want to live in his house, to be real with you. Can we live here? Can we just move to this town? Let's forget all about our old life. Oh, no, we can't do that because what about Kimmy? We can't just say goodbye to Kimmy. <laughs> we just can't leave Kimmy behind. He's hungry. <laughs> you can eat me. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Wait, is you in high school too? Hold on, because you seem... Sh <gasps> oh, no. He's a teenager. Isn't he? Isn't he a teenager? I thought Tristan was a young adult. 
He, he looked teenager high. Is it my heels? No, he's in high school. But we're flirting with each other. Oh, do I have the mod that let me sleep with teenagers? Oh, no. Oh, no. But they're not active to let me sleep with the teenagers. I mean, I don't want to be a cougar about it, but, like, um... You know what? Uh, I need a computer. Really quickly. Who? Okay, you have a computer. Thank you, sir. Let me get to your computer, like, really quickly. Um... Because I would say, ooh, let's seduce the father, but the, the father is not sexy. Like, sleeping with the underage boys is not right. It's not. But he has money. And that makes it okay. Online actions for teens. Yes, make that true. Uh, species for humans. I got to go through all these. Because to be honest, I use all these mods on pretty much a daily basis. And I don't know how most of them work. I'm, I'm not even lying to you. I really don't know. All I know is that um, I click buttons until something works. Once it works, I don't click anymore. So I'm just trying to figure out how do I seduce the teenage boy. Yes, a loud teen woohoo. I think I got it right now. Can we, we can, no, we still can't seduce the teenager, boy. What? This is wrong. Let me see. Um. Well, I guess we should talk to him because we have to become friends with him. Cry on his shoulder. That might be a little creepy because we don't really know him like that. But we're like a celebrity. Oh, he's flirting with us. So something must be working. Let's not cry on his shoulder because that will not get us laid. Oh, it's too late. Already. Oh, he doesn't mind. Let's flirt then. Or is that too much? Oh, he doesn't seem to mind. Okay. He's flirty. That's why. But I still don't understand. Like, I still don't know how to make him uh, mine. I want to seduce him. Still trying to figure out how to seduce this underage boy. Please don't call the cops on us. I'ma keep playing with the with the settings until I figure out how to seduce the boy. And if y'all laughing, I ain't playing. I'm gonna figure it out. Do I need master controller to like seduce the teenage boy? I don't, I don't think so. I think it's all about the woohoo or mod that will help me seduce the teenage boy. I keep saying it. The cops are gonna actually come down and find me. <laughs> uh, let's check the woohoo again. Um, oh shoot. Okay, teen to adult. That's why I forgot to click. There we go. Now we can seduce the teenage boy for real. We gonna teach him all the things. Let me let me check it real quick. Ooh, we could woohoo him. That's how you befriend teenagers. You offer them candy. And when I mean candy, I mean you. <laughs> Like, if it makes you feel any better, like, since he's fake Edward Cullen, he's really, like, 107 years old. He's just trapped in the body of a teenager for right now. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're making friends with him very easily, very quickly. It was not hard. We may not have to sleep with him to move him in with us. Like, I don't know how it works. You getting someone to move in with you who lives in a vacation spot? Oh, I can't ask him to move in. We're going to ask the teenage boy to move in him. We not even going to have to sleep with him to get his money. How amazing is that? Oh, Lord, that's probably my man from back home calling. Hang up. Hang up. <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, he is moving. Wait a minute, how much money is he bringing? That's it? No, we gotta bring the whole fam with you then. <laughs> yes, yes. Can I kick him out like that? Oh my gosh, no. But then they'll get some of my money. See, we all have to live together now. That's just how it has to be. Yeah, we all live together. We're going to live in my house, though. Because we're going to move towns, and you're going to come with me? 
So this is actually really brilliant because if Jade is unable to get to third promotion with her journalism career, she'll still need a vampire to interview when she gets there. And if the vampires are back in town, like I said, when you leave the town, the town doesn't stay the same. It's a vacation town. It's going to, like, reset itself pretty much. So, yeah, we're doing smart things. We're, we're in the money. He's starving. We must keep him alive. Do you want to feed on us? We, like, I, you can have my blood, darling. Don't ever think I won't give it to you. I will. So, I will, I will give you all the blood. Oh, we're moving? Oh, we're meeting up somewhere. Oh, so this is not our house no more? Do we get to keep the car? Wait, hold on now, cause, cause, um, dang, we don't get to keep the car. That's okay, we got the money so we can buy the cars. Oh my God, Jade is a rich bitch now. <laughs> we have been chatting with this lady for a bit now. We are most definitely talking to a ghost. It's a wrap, it's a done deal. Uh oh, what's happening? It's somebody dying. He looks like he might be turning to ash and she looks terribly frightened and that's music to my ears. Oh, she got crispy quick. 